Miami Heat and Miami Dolphin fan, Flo Rider. Flo, good to have you. Always a Welcome pleasure. Welcome back. So you know we have to get at you. Oh, boy, oh, boy. So you got the best player in the world. It was Heat and five. What, what happened? I guess my prediction was wrong. <laughs> I, I definitely apologize. But, you know, we still got a great team. Well, I want to know, I, I know why did you feel the need to retire LeBron James' jersey in our presence like that on national television. It's not, I mean, you should be saying thank you. You did go to four straight NBA finals. Right, right. I mean, it's definitely, it's no disrespect, but, you know, he had a great introduction, and what I was doing was throwing the official party, you know, for him leaving. But, you know, definitely have a great time in Cleveland. Mm. You sure you ain't bitter? Not at all. You're not upset? No, nah, no. Nah. Are you willing to say thank you for his years of service? Thank you, LeBron, for your years of service. <laughs> really? I really appreciate it. All right. It. Okay. You know, <laughs> allow me to say, oh. I was not on Flo's side during the finals because I'm a Spurs guy, and, and I did triumph. But I am on your side now, and I appreciated what you did with that jersey because I think a lot of Heat fans are with you emotionally on that 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 whole idea of let's retire that jersey, right? I mean, you, you didn't set fire to it. You just took the name off the back of it, right? Right, right. It was all out of respect. You know, no burning, no fires. You know, just definitely. I mean, he's a great player. We have a great team. We're going to continue to be a great team. You know, hopefully, you know, we and, we'll and see him I again. am with you on that. I think I've told you all year. Mm -hmm. I think this Heat team is going to shock a lot <laughs> no, of people. We, 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 I, I need I need specifics, Florida. I mean. When you say we still have a great team, that sort of implies that talks about that, 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 that sort of implies that the same stuff we've been doing, we're gonna do. Well, one thing I loved about the Spurs when they played was the fact there was a lot of team ball, and that's what I'm saying early on. I got a chance to go to one of the preseason games with the Heat. Oh, preseason. Yeah, oh. I mean, but you know, you still can kind of see the kicks I'm and everything it. like right. that. I saw it also. Yeah, and, and it's like they playing team ball. That's what it's about. They happy. I don't think they got no type of grudges or anything like that going on. Mm. All right, so tonight they play the Rockets, both are undefeated thus far. So it's no more big three traditionally. Just Bosch, Wade, uh, Luau Dang, Norris Cole, Mar Mario Chalmers. Tell me what you expect from them, period, this season. Obviously not a title, but what type of team do you think they'll be? I mean, I, I expect them to definitely be focused and, and give it their all, you know, um, even off the court. You know, it's, 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 it's time. If you want to win a championship, you definitely have to, the times that you have your breaks to see your families and things like that, you have to, you have to give it your all and, and practice, practice, practice. I mean... Tonight, I look forward to a great game, and it's definitely, I think this will determine what the season will look like for him. Did you think Chris Bosch was worth $118 million? Anybody that's going to get blessed like that. No, no, I know, it's a <laughs> I know it's a blessing. I ain't knocking him for taking it now. Don't I mean, get me wrong. He's been in the league for a long time. I think he's deserving of for it. Do you realize, Mr. Smith, that Chris Bosch, and you have made gentle fun of him for getting that much money and his agent for getting it That's for right. him. He, needs, he, he should, should do Christmas shopping for Christmas his agent. Shopping. That's right. You Cook realize? a Thanksgiving dinner for Harry Thomas. And yes, I, I, said I know it. it's I said early. It. I know it's early and it's only He's three games. He's been balling. He is averaging career highs in points, rebounds, and assists. Championship. I think he is that. living up to the max money that he got mm. so far. Thank you very much. Y'all can do that all y'all want to. <laughs> get up and hug one. I don't give a damn. I'll tell you something right now. When you look at Chris Bosh, he can play. And yeah. he, this brother's reminding everybody that he was once the number one option in Toronto, and he is going to show up. Chris Bosh is no scrub. He can play. But $118 million? They can pay. It's all good. Okay. And Go ahead, Mr. Skip. Smith, I'm, I'm looking at this box from just the other night. This was Against the, the, the Philadelphia 76 No, this was the one against the Toronto Raptors, oh, who you Toronto. like. And I you, do like you them. Have, I do like them. Not their front line, but I like well, Wanda Rose and those boys. I mean, they can play. You know I love me some you, Kyle Lowry. You said you told me before the year they are a contender in the East, they're right? They're a contender in yeah, the yeah, East. Yeah, okay. they, 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 they're one of the top four teams in the East. Okay, yeah. so, so Chris Bosh against the Raptors, albeit in Miami, he goes 21-11. But here's the key in the big X factor. My man, Dwayne Wade. What did he do? He goes 19, 11 rebounds, and 7 assists. That, that's he's looking like D, old D. Wade to me, D right? He's D. Wade. He's D. Wade. He's definitely doing his thing, like, even though it was preseason. Okay. Right. He did his thing. I mean, he, I was out there. I was definitely amazed. It was, it was, it was nice to see him do what he I did. I mean, he, we, he got his body together. We all know that Dwayne Wade, what he's going to do when he's healthy. The question is, is he going to stay healthy? Nobody in South Beach is worried about that. That's what you're trying to tell me? I mean, that's just about with every player, what they're going to do if they're not healthy. I think he's going to do an amazing job. He's got a great team with him to definitely inspire him to want to stay in shape and eat the proper foods to have a great season. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, the only person that has a reason to be mad at LeBron is me.
Why? Because <laughs> I got I had to be in Cleveland. Why I'm sick right now? Oh, I had to be in Cleveland I outside. Mm. It, it, it went long. All right, John's so listen, we'll Flo, wait, wait, Flo, Flo, we need you to make some predictions. You didn't make any predictions. Are, are they coming out of the East? Are they He's, going to the championship? What, I need you to tell me what this team will be. I think we're gonna definitely uh, be a, 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 a great, great competitive. Team. Oh, man. Let me, let me ask I want to make no more predictions like that again. I, I, I know felt, it's election okay. day. Hold on. I know it's election day. I didn't know you were running for office. When did, how, how come you didn't tell us? How come you didn't tell us you were running for office, Mr. Politician? Where's the prediction? I don't see confidence coming from I was kind of emotional looking back yeah, at so you don't my prediction. Do that again. I don't want to do that again. You don't want to do that again? Because y'all ran it over and over and over. What, what did I tell you before the year? I got Miami getting to the Eastern Conference Finals, uh -huh. and I'm going to give LeBron's new team a slight edge over this Heat team in the final, in the Eastern Conference Finals. But listen, Lou Ding is no joke. At all. And, and Chalmers is playing. I, I think it's, it's been great for Chalmers to get LeBron out because they would go back and forth, obviously. Uh, Mario Chalmers can play a little bit. I know, know he can play. He yeah. just had a bad NBA yeah. Finals. Yeah. But I, I've always known Mario Chalmers can play. Regardless of what Saturday Night Live tries to tell you, I know he can play. All I'm saying to you is that in the end, you don't get to four straight NBA Finals if it were not for LeBron James. I'm interested in knowing what you think he's going to get treated like once they return on Christmas Day. And are you going to be there? If I'm not traveling overseas, I'm definitely going to be there. All right. And I think, you going to you know, stand up and give that man a round of applause? I'm all about, you know... Uh, supporting greatness. He's definitely a great okay. player, regardless if he's not. Class. The heat. That is class. It's class. But, you know, it's being down in Miami, they are loyal fans, and we don't know what their introduction is going to be. Mm. It could be crazy. Okay. Like like how, like boo crazy? Just I mean, I just put tape over the jersey. They might burn some jerseys. That, that, that's a problem. They do yeah. something like that. They they got a lot of nerves that just stolen from Cleveland. Hopefully they the don't, because that's my man. Okay. But, All right. All right, so you want to stick around with us for a little bit. Definitely. When we come back, we're going to talk about the Patriots. They've owned the AFC East, but can your Dolphins change that? The Dolphins. We're working hard. Okay. <laughs> we'll talk about that when Flow Stick comes.